I'm so happy with the squad. Uh, I think uh, we are in a position that all is possible, and I think we have a great squad, a big squad, a good player, and there's no point to talk about that. It's point to try to help them to perform in the way that we expect. Okay, take a question from Alistair right here. Thank you. Maurizio, um, can I just ask you about Musa Sissoko who signed a, a brand new deal just the other day. Just wondered kind of your thoughts on obviously how far he's come from a player maybe that some thought might have left the club a couple of seasons ago and now he's signing a new deal. Um, and also just secondly, whether that represents a bit of a change at Tottenham to hand a player in his 30s a new quite long-term deal. Yeah, but that is, uh, I think, it's a, was a deal in between the club and the and the player, and and of course, I think, it's a, it's, I don't need to talk too much. It's, it's a decision from the club and from the player to send the contract. Okay, take a question from Dan here. And just just on Musa Mauricio, he played right back for the last hour against Southampton on Saturday. Is that something you could see him doing again this season, or a bit more of? Yes. Is one of the possibilities, um, but in in last season or the season before, um, you know, I remember in Wembley some game to to finish like this. I, if you remember last season against Barcelona on the Champions League game, the last uh, the last I think 15, 20 minutes he played in that position. It's not new, eh? It's not new. Um, you need to make memory only to to remember that uh, he was playing in that position on the pass. Okay, take a question from Roger down the front here. Hi, Maurizio. Um, can I ask about Hugo Lloris, an error for a goal at the weekend? Do you change your approach to the game when you see something like that, or do you continue to encourage the team to play from the back like that? That's a uh, situation that happens in football. Um, but uh, the, f the philosophy um, and the ideas are bigger than from one mistake to change everything, or for, for one action you are going to change um, your ideas. And um, I think it's no point. And, and of course, um, that situation happened. That happened when you the, the, the striker miss uh, a goal uh, or when some player miss a penalty or miss a pass. That is the same type of mistake that happened. And in my, under my opinion and judgment is the same. Can cost a goal, can cost um, no score a goal, uh, and but that is that is football can happen. It's an action that we forget and and the player and, and we will forget now. I say move on because we saw a mistake by a goalkeeper at Sheffield United and the manager was quite critical of his goalkeeper um, and he said he he needs to do better. What's your approach when when a goalkeeper or a player makes such a, a high-profile error. Do you, do you just move on or do you take him to one side and, and check that he's OK? I think you saw my reaction and my approach. Football is about, them, about mistakes. And I don't want to say nothing because I don't want that you compare uh, with another manager or with another action of a different club or different uh, coaching staff. Eh? More than uh, uh, take... Uh, write my, my words. Um, for me, football is about mistakes. And you are not going never to, st to stop the mistakes. You can train, you can show, because football and all the... For me, that I was a professional footballer, what means to be on the pitch, only he was there, knows what means to be professional and, and play under this stress and pressure. And that is why I underst understand completely when uh, some player cannot be as good as you expect. And this type of situation happen on the past, happen in the present, and it's going to happen. No one is going to stop this type of situation because our circumstance that you are not going to uh, to change in football. Um, I'm never going to to talk uh, about that. I'll always allow to, uh, this, I say to, to them, I allowed you to make the mistake because it means that you are trying to do. If when you not try, it's impossible to make a mistake. If you don't make a mistake, you are not too much involved on the on the game. That is the the difference how we assess uh, the game or the players or the or the performance. Okay, take a question there. Then we'll finish with Charlie and George. Okay, uh, Mauricio, what do you think of the team's um, current form? Oh, sorry. And um, have the targets changed since the beginning of the season? Yes, I think you know um, for different reasons. Um, 
we are all responsible to create a feeling uh, that wasn't the best uh, to start. But I think I, I need to remember you because I, before you asked uh, Jean Bertogen, I think uh, when the transfer window closed, uh, I was very clear that all the players were commitment to to give their best. I don't. I, I didn't. Um, I didn't talk after that that we have different interests or we were thinking or we were affecting today or after Colchester because of uh, we are not thinking in in on the team. Um, like every single season happened from now my sixth season that they start always was the same. Always was the same. Different thing happened in summer. But not only in Tottenham, in all the clubs. But uh, it's no doubt that the players are very commitment uh, with one year contract or with five year contract. Um, and that is not a point to discuss and it's not an excuse for the team to to have or to will have a good result or, or no good result. Okay. Charlie and then finish with George. Charlie. Uh, it's mentioned there about Sissoko filling in at right back and obviously Aurier got sent off earlier in the game. Has it been a concern that no one yet has fully nailed down that right back position this season? I think like uh, in the previous season, the competition. If you go back to my first season, do you know who, who was my first uh, right back? On No. Norton? Yes. <laughs> Dyer finished because was sent off Ryan Norton, uh, Kyle Norton, and he scored on the last minute. But in this season play, Kyle Norton, Eric Dyer, uh, Vladimir uh, Vlad, um, Chiriches mm. uh, and on the end play Kai Walker that was injured four different players and maybe I forget someone more but you know if you analyse all my single season were were similar to this season now it's Kai Walker Pita Serge Aurier Davinson or now in this type of circus and like uh, Saturday uh, was um, um, uh, Musa Playing there, finish the, the the last hour, no, in the in the game. But we were uh, wor uh, working always in a similar circumstance. It's not going to change this season. That is why I am very optimistic and very positive. That is not new for uh, new for us. Only f for the club is news. It's new, like you said to before to to Shan. Five year or seven year ago, he was playing again. Parathinaikos, I don't know, in Europa League. But in the last four season, for four seasons in a row, or for four years in a row, playing Champions League and playing Barcelona, Inter, Bayern Munich, or Real Madrid, or Manchester City, or, you know, that changed a lot. And this type of circumstance that changed a lot for the club. But my circumstance, sport circumstance, didn't change from five, five years ago to, to today. Okay, pass the question to George for the last one. Thank you. Marisha, hello. I just wondered what your thoughts on Jan said about him being very young and still want to play at the top level. Are you open to him staying next season? What? Yeah, I am open to, to everything. Um, but that is like uh, I told uh, before about Musa Sissoko. That is a um, deal in between the club and, and him, and of course his decision. And it's not um, you see what happened because always is uh, two different parties in all the deal. But of course, that Chan, uh, I think after five years that we are all together, and that is going to be our sixth season. Always was an important part of of my my project and my decision in football. And um, that that feeling is not going to change.